Introduction to Water What is meant by water shortages? How much water is available to support humans? And how does water availability vary across the globe? We'll look at these questions in this video. About half the world's population face a scarcity of water. This is about 3 billion people. On such a large planet with so much water, how is this possible? Well, recall that the Earth is essentially a closed thermodynamic system. This means it can exchange energy with the surroundings, such as incoming solar radiation, but it cannot exchange a significant amount of mass with the surroundings to affect its temperature, pressure, and volume. What this means is that matter that is needed for living must be on Earth already. Well, what about water? Is there a shortage of water? We know that more than 75% of the surface of our Earth is covered with water, so why is there any talk of water shortages? The global stock of water is stored in three primary forms. 2.5% of this water volume is fresh water from lakes, rivers, and streams. And only about 0.1% of the earth water is dissolved in the atmosphere. So this gives you a sense of where the water actually is and in what form it's in. So when you hear talk about water shortages, water means fresh water. Salt water is not fit for human consumption. Much of natural water also is not fit for human consumption. For example, the typical contaminants found in natural water in a developed country include major inorganics, minor inorganics, naturally occurring organic compounds, and anthropogenic organics. Now, notice that some of these constituents are toxic. Others simply affect the odor, taste, and color of the water. So quality measures of water include things like odor, taste, temperature, color, and total dissolved solids, as well as turbidity. And turbidity is the measure of the optical clarity of water and is caused by suspended particles in water. So natural fresh water also needs treatment prior to human consumption. However, treatment is not always available. This figure shows the populations by regions that are lacking improved water supply and sanitation there's a greater percentage of the population that still lacks access to improved sanitation. 2.5 billion people lack access to any type of sanitation equipment compared to the global population that lacks access to improved water supply. Not having access to an improved water source and lack of access to improved water sanitation can lead to disease causing agents to be transmitted through contact with air, water, and solid waste. How do we look at these issues on a larger scale? One method is through the water footprint tool. If we look at the global picture, we see that some regions do not experience a scarcity of water. However, many regions have water scarcity several months out of the year. This graphic depicts the regions throughout the world where the amount of water needed to sustain human life and dilute pollutants to acceptable levels exceeds what is available through rivers and groundwater. Although the Earth's surface is more than 75% water, only fresh water can support the life of non-oceanic beings. Even fresh water must be treated. In developed countries, fresh water typically contains a range of contaminants, including trace concentrations of biotoxins. Almost a billion people do not have access to improved water. Up to three times as many do not have access to sanitation. There are many regions where the water needed exceeds the available water several months out of the year. In the next video, we look at measuring water needs.